Welcome back, everybody. Happy Friday. Today, we're talking about the importance of the voice, as we always do. But there's a different thing that I want to talk about today, which is not just the voice, but it's about the other part of it. So many people come to me because they want to be heard. They have a need to be heard, whether in their personal life or in their business life. We all need to be heard. Well, as we look at society these days, we see that there's a lot of miscommunication, misunderstanding. People sometimes are being heard, but there's a part of the communication equation that in involves not only being heard, but then being that person who listens. In today's video, I want to talk about this perhaps missing part of the communication equation to you so that you can become a better listener and by being a better listener, you become a better communicator. Let's get started. You've heard that phrase, if a tree falls in the forest, but nobody hears it, did it really fall or did it really make a sound? Well, what that implies is, was there somebody to hear that sound? Yes, there was that sound, but did somebody hear it? As a voice and speech coach, I teach people to make sounds, to use their voice, to use their body, to use their energy, their mind, to be able to get across what they feel, what they believe, what they think. Well, that goes so far. But kind of like my making these videos, I can make these videos, but if nobody watches them, well, then I'm not really getting my message across. It takes you right now watching this video to have an effect. Well, the same is true for my speakers. They need to be heard. You as a person need to be heard. One of our very basic needs in life is to be heard, accepted, loved, understood, valued. So today's video is all about the listening part of the communication equation. And for this, I have a very simple thing for you today, and that's the IJK of being an awesome listener. We'll talk about the IJK in a moment. But think about when you have somebody coming at you with a complaint, you're in an argument with somebody. It's so easy to shut them down and try to you know, throw them down with verbally or try to make sure that they're wrong or make sure they know how stupid they were or as they say, clap back, a phrase that I'm just kind of learning myself. But does that really lead to success in your life, in your relationships? What could you do instead to become a person who values the other person and thus they value you and thus you both grow, again, whether in personal life or in business? So it takes listening, but how do we listen? If we're with somebody physically, do we cross our arms and listen like that? Do we put our eyes together and squint and listen like that? Well, that is not going to be helpful in getting this message, this miscommunication resolved. So three simple points. I, J, K. The I, listen without interruption. Zip it. <laughs> The greatest gift you can give to somebody is to listen to them. If you go to somebody or yeah, if you go to somebody and you start to tell them your problems and after about five words, they interrupt you, they aren't really giving their attention to you or their time. But if they listen to you and you're able to say everything you wanted to say to them, you feel like you've been heard. Of course, unless they come back with come some kind of judgment or misunderstanding. But the first step, of course, is the I, the without interruption. Listen to somebody, let them speak. Just by letting them speak, you're helping them because you're helping them get it off of their chest and maybe even talk through that problem. In my work with corporate clients and their call centers, that's one of the first things that we teach is to listen to the person on the other phone so that they can feel heard. J, judgment. Listen without judgment. So again, if you're there with somebody and you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna tell them a thing or two. I'm gonna get them back. Oh, I have a witty response. Oh, I, they are so wrong. 
in a way, then there's really no point in having the conversation about allowing them to talk to you because there's no movement possible. Being able to be a dynamic speaker is the same thing as being able to be a dynamic listener. That is, that there's possibility for movement in the way that you feel, in the way that you understand each other, in the way that you respond to each other. So try to listen without judgment. One of the hardest things to do. Look, we're always making judgments. That's why I teach voice and speech because in the first few moments of talking to anybody, the other person is making judgments about the way you look, about the way you sound, about the way you dress, about the way you carry yourself. What if you could do it without judgment? What if in this conversation you could just think, oh, what is this person saying? What are they really trying to communicate to me? Where are they coming from? What is their experience? And why are we seeing things so differently? And look, this can help in the political climate by listening to those of us you might not you know, agree with, but that you have a relationship with. What is it like if you heard them, if you really listened? It can go a long way in changing the way you feel and about allowing them to feel that they were listened to, that they were loved, they were cared for. I-J-K. The K is about listening with kindness. Be kind. You know, you think about the golden rule, treat your neighbor as you would yourself. It goes a long way. It's kind of common sense. The other day, I, I'll tell you what, I got a ticket. I didn't make a full stop at a stop sign. And when the police officer pulled me over, I said, oh, well, well what did I do? I know, pretty bad, huh? And he said, well, you didn't stop at a stop sign. I said, well, you know, I think I did. And he said, uh, no, I have it on tape right here for quality assurance. And I realized, oh yeah, they have me. But as he, and I was, so I was very angry at first, but then I, and inwardly at least, but then as he talked and he said, you know what, you really could hurt somebody if you don't come to a complete stop. And if one of those people on, um, uh, um, one of those modern day little scooters came by and jetted out and wasn't paying attention and you were to hit them, it would be your fault and you could really, you know, do a lot of damage. And I listened to that person and I thought, wow, this person is actually talking to me with kindness. This police officer cares. If you have kindness in your heart and you act that way towards other people, it goes a long way. One of the things I had to do because of that ticket was go on to traffic school. And in the traffic school they were teaching us, you know, it makes a big difference. If you drive in a very friendly way, you'll get that payback from other drivers in a very friendly way. Sometimes things are out of your control. You have nasty drivers out there. That's a different situation. But the way we treat other people is the kind of treatment we get back. It makes a huge difference. So if you can listen with kindness, without thinking, I'm going to make this person feel wrong, or I'm going to make this person feel stupid, but rather, I'm going to make this person feel loved and listened to. It is the greatest gift you can give of yourself. And it goes a long way for having successful relationships everywhere in your life. Whether you're traveling abroad, whether you're going to the bank, although who goes to the bank anymore? Post office, whatever you're doing, calling up customer service, being the business owner, being the employee, listening with kindness will take you far, I promise you. It's just common sense. So the IJKs, without interruption, without judgment, and with kindness. Those three things will keep you in good shape in all of your conversations. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, family, coworkers about this channel so that it can be of use to them.